Onward! Aye, matey! Onward! Woo! One time, I remember one time, probably about six months ago, my boyfriend told me something along the lines of this. Yeah, it would be cool to have a pirate shirt, pirate shirt, pirate shirt. That's what stuck in my brain for this long. Now, I must make him a pirate shirt for his birthday because he needs, needs a pirate shirt. He just told me once that he might want it, but I think he's gonna need one. He's gonna need it, okay? So, I'm gonna try to make him one and hopefully it works out. <laughs> okay, so while I was at the thrift store, I got these two little cheesecloth-y type of fabrics that I thought I would use for this pirate shirt and it would be like a nice and you know flowy type of situation going on so to make sure this shirt fits my partner properly I'm going to use this shirt I'm wearing which is actually one he gave me funny how that works out it's just about the right fit that I want for this shirt and I want it to be like a pirate shirt but like a wearable pirate shirt like one of those hipster ones so you could wear it for a costume if you wanted to but you could also wear it in day-to-day -day life that's the goal for this and obviously i'm going to change some of the style of the shirt like the collar and that back thing but i'm just using this as a gauge to what will fit him because other than that i really would have no idea and you know, it's nice making your own patterns once in a while. It's pretty hard, but you you can do it if I can do it. And so all I'm doing here is tracing out the back piece by putting my finger on the seam and trying to find the right curvature, cutting that out after I add the seam allowance. Don't forget that part. And just checking with my ruler to make sure everything is nice and straight. Now I'm doing the same for the front piece, which is different because the shoulder cutouts for the sleeves are different for the front and back and so yeah I'm just trying to work with it I realized after I only had to trace out one side because I could just cut the fabric on fold but I still did it like this anyways and here I am cutting out the collar nice and symmetrical by folding it in half and cutting in a semicircle I know that with Wendy has a stellar video on how to do this perfectly so if you want to know more information on how to do this, go hit up her video and yeah, it'll be much more perfect than mine. Anyways, now I'm cutting out my fabric of the patterns I just made. I'm just doing this on fold and it's less work like that so you don't have to cut out two sides. Sewing hack, if you didn't know, well, yeah. In order to make sure my pattern works, I'm using this scrap fabric first and making a shirt out of that to see if it fits and if I have to make any adjustments on that. So behold this granny fabric shirt. Cutting out the rest of the fabric in three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. Once I have the front and the back body pieces, I sew it together along the shoulder seams. After that, I lay it out to tackle the sleeves. I'm going to trace this by using a sprout bag and following the curve along the shoulder seam. And to make the length, I just follow the edges of the sleeve of the shirt that I'm copying. And this is only going to be half the length because I need another sprouts bag to make the full length and because I don't have any like paper you actually use for this. So I'm just kind of reducing, reusing and recycling. But yeah, so I have to make it the right length. So here I am adding an extra little bit to my sleeve piece. To account for the ruffles in the sleeve of a pirate shirt, I am trying this thing out I saw on YouTube where I take the original sleeve piece I traced out and cutting it in strips 
and spreading it out and i think the right way to do this is to cut it all the way down but spoiler alert i didn't do it all the way down in this but it still made it work somehow so yeah here i am just cutting it and spreading it out once that was done i laid it flat on a piece of wrapping paper and then traced that whole piece around so that i still have the same curves as the original sleeve but just extra width once that was done, I cut out those newly found pattern pieces for the sleeve on my fabric and then I sewed a basting stitch all along the curve. Then I scrunched up that bad boy by pulling on one of the strings and made sure it was the same length as the curve of the bodice piece so that it would fit together nice and evenly. Then it was time for the good old pin and sew combo. You know, the little one, two, one, two. I'm gonna stop now because that joke was really lame. Oh yeah, look at that sleeve. That's looking good, uh, 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 yeah. It has a nice little gathers, and now it's time to do the same thing to the other sleeve. Once both the sleeves were done, I turned the whole shirt right sides together and sewed along the arm and the body, starting at the armpit, so for even purposes. Bonk. And after that was done, it was pretty exciting because you kind of have a shirt already. But I realized that the neck hole was way too small, so I just cut that a little bit to be about 8 inches wide at the top. And now I'm measuring out how far down to make the slit, making sure it's right in the middle of the neck hole. Then I measured how long to make the bias tape for that, because that's how I'm going to finish off the neck hole. And for some reason I didn't get this on film very well, but I cut out a piece and I ironed the raw edges in and I had this little spaghetti doodle thing that I'm just going to use as sandwich tape for this v-neck. And I just pinned that all the way around the raw edge and sewed along that line, making sure to get all of it in there. That's what she said. <laughs> I just started on one side of the shirt of the v-neck and went all the way down to the v-point. And then I started at the v-point and did the other side. I think this helped me to get that little fabric right in the V together. And it worked! I'm so excited! That was my first time doing this type of method and I'm really excited that it worked out. To fix that little pucker at the bottom of the V-neck, I put these shirt right sides together at the V and I sewed a little teeny line at the corner of the bias tape where it met at the V-point and it seemed to help flatten everything out and to make it like super V. like an acute angle v-neck after that i moved on to finish off the collar so i cut off the extra little bias tape i made for the v-neck and i made another spaghetti doodle bias tape that was a lot longer to go all the way around the collar and then i just sewed it on using the same sandwiching method as before it turned out pretty good and after that, the next thing I did was just hem the bottom by doing a little rolled hem around the whole thing. All right, so I finished everything but the sleeves and I tried it on. Let me just show you. When they wear it, it looks like a hospital gown. It looks like a, a straight jacket. Oh. Okay, so I decided to finish the sleeves knowing that it was probably just the fabric that it was making it look a little medical per se. So I just cut them to the appropriate length and I gave it a little rolled hem around the outside. Then I measured some elastic around my wrist and did the good old stretch and sew ruffle method along the sleeve. 
and after that i was completed with the mock-up shirt everything looks pretty good so far and now all that's left to do is to see if it fits him this is dylan hi i like him <laughs> okay ready all right i'm doing something yeah okay we're gonna blindfold you okay but you'll still probably be able to feel what it's like Okay. But this is some scrap fabric, by the way. So you have to try something on to make sure it fits okay. before it doesn't. Uh, what about the pinata? <laughs> the pinata. I'm getting really dizzy. <laughs> oh my god. Here's okay. a pinata stick. Okay, I'm gonna try it on. It's, I guess it's like a um, shirt. What's this? Careful. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel, feel it. Just feel it, you know? Ooh, okay. How was it? Can you move? Yeah, it feels good. You got back? Yeah, back I, got, room? I have back room. Back room? Yeah, okay. Can you dance? Yeah. Can you party? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, hey. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is comfortable. How do the shoulders feel? They, they feel good. Like, on your body, like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they feel good. Okay. There's room. So it fits? Yes. It fits. Okay. 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 Good? Yeah. Okay. Let's take it off. Alright, take this blindfold. Let me, let me hide it. Okay. So, do you know what it is? I have a pretty good idea. Look, it's a shirt. Yeah. But like, are you led in any direction? Like, do you know what it is? Um, yeah, I think I, I have a... A, a pretty good I idea. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay. But you haven't seen it though. No. Okay. But it felt really nice. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it fits. Yeah. But you haven't seen it, so it'll still be a surprise, hopefully. Uh, yeah. I'm excited. Okay, now forget about everything I just did. What did we just do? I don't know. Oh, okay. Why do we have a camera? No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> the next morning okay so you heard the guy he tried it on and i'm pretty sure he knows what it is because he said he wants a pirate shirt before to me but he doesn't know quite what it looks like so i'm still holding on to that surprise factor the mock-up is like it worked completely and I'm so happy that I did everything right because I didn't know if I was doing everything right. Some of those skills were a first for me and it fits him well and he has room to move. So I am now ready to make the final piece and I don't even have to change much on the pattern. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to do different is make the ties, neckties longer and maybe take the shoulder up because the shoulder seam was still kind of droopy on him too but those are simple little things and so i realized i didn't have enough of this fabric i got from the thrift store but it's okay i went to hobby lobby this morning and got this fabric which is pretty much the same with less wear so here i go hopefully this is enough it doesn't look like that much now that i'm looking at it let's make him a shirt for his birthday mm, 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 mm. yeah this should go smoothly right because i've done it before oh and i also decided to make the sleeve wider toward the wrist so that when i add the elastic it'll poof out poof poof in poof, poof in more um because it was not as 
flamboyant as I would like. So that's the other thing I'm going to change. Let's get into it. Okay, now it's time to do the exact same thing but with the right fabric. So step one is cut out all your pieces. About two hours ago, I was waiting in the Hobby Lobby fabric cutting line. And I was thinking, okay, how much do I need here? Because I'm not really one to like measure out. Let me, let me retrace. I got two yards of this fabric. I cut out the back piece, the front piece, and now I'm onto the sleeves. But I only have enough for one whole sleeve. And the other sleeve is an inch too short on the armpit. As I was checking out and I told the lady two yards, I was thinking, you know, that doesn't look like that much, but like, I think it'll be enough. Hopefully it is, but it's not. Ugh. Ooh. I always do this, I always do this. Always, I don't ever get enough, ever. Disregard that, I set it out to where I'm just gonna try to gain as much as this fabric as I can for the sleeve. But up here, I'm only short like a centimeter. So I'm just gonna, and that will be in the seam anyway, so I'm just gonna go for it here. And hopefully it'll work. Because one thing I don't wanna do is go back to Hobby Lobby. But I should, and if this doesn't work, I probably will anyways, because this better be the best shirt I've ever made. Okay, after that mild freak out, I cut out the sleeve, and it turned out not to be that bad. I just couldn't gain as much extra fabric on the wrist as I wanted to, but no harm done. It still worked out. Oh! That's not bad. I think that is perfectly fine. I don't know how it looks and I don't know if he's gonna like it but here it is on me oh yeah gotta tuck it in for that wearable pirate look pirate chic ooh ooh yeah
I hope he likes it, god dang it. Give me your booty. Arg. If he doesn't like it, well, he can lie and say he likes it. He doesn't need to say he doesn't like it. I can't swim. Ugh. The Black Sea. As far as the eye can see. Arg, matey.